Do you want cool results really quick and you're lazy at UV unwrapping and texturing? Listen up. Now we're gonna be using the free add-on Dream UV. We can download it from a link in the description. Code download zip. And then you know the drill, edit, preferences, install, wherever you've saved it. Find Dream, double click, and make sure it's enabled. It also comes with a texture. So let's just go file, import, images, planes. Find our example atlas, double click on it. And now we've kind of got this. Now let's jump into material mode and you'll see what the texture looks like. Now with this texture, tab into edit mode and we're just going to add in a whole bunch of edge loops along these seams. One there and one there. Let's go one here, one here, one here, one here. Ugh, so many seams. Beautiful. So as you can see, we've now chopped it all up. Beautiful. Now what I can do is Atlas object over here. That's what it is. I can now select our cube and just go use spot from here in the material settings. Let's copy that across. Copy material to selected, you little ripper. Ugh. So if you ever get this weird looking uh, material setup, just come to the bottom where it says alpha click clip, which is gonna change that to alpha hashed and alpha hashed. There we go, beautiful. Yeah, cool. Well done, Marco. You've you un UV unwrapped the cube. Yay. <laughs> Just going into my kitbash set. Uh, let's pick this one here. We'll bring that one in. And then from here, let's do the same thing. We're going to go hotspot. Now from here, nothing has happened. However, if we can move into material, let's change the material from this to example Atlas. And uh, there we go. You can see how that's UV unwrapped it and added this texture. Now, whoop de doo Actually, it's pretty cool. But let's jump over into my materials, Dream UV materials. And now we can click and drag my set onto here. And look at that. Mwah. So very quickly, we are just texturing it with our various material setups. And obviously, we can go add a new material. Um, we will add in, let's go the paint chip one. Sorry, that one there. And, you know, we can select these, Control L to select everything that's linked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Control L. And then we can assign it to our secondary material. And now we've got variants in the textures. Easy as. But I mean, this is just one of my kit bashing set pieces. Um, you can download that. There is a link in the description for all my Dream UV textures as well. Now let's do some testing. Obviously, we've got some complex materials on here. So if I just go render, I mean, it's not too bad. Let's go F12 to see how long it's going to take to render. 10 seconds, you know, whatevs, it's not that bad. Um, but if we come in, have a look, shading, we can see we've got a pretty complex material setup. Now that material setup's all on Patreon as well, so if you want to download that, go there. But let's see if we can beat 10 seconds. So let's start from the start, let's get rid of our glass, chair, this, that. Uh, let's go into solid mode so it works a little bit faster. Hide, 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 whatever this, all this stuff is. All right, I will select everything and convert to mesh. Now we'll do this in material mode as well. From here, let's bring in our um, Dream UV stuff. So over into the asset browser, materials, Dream UV. First, we've got to bring in our plate and then let's just grab the yellow and I'm just going to dump it on there for now. Select the ship and then we're going to make sure we select our atlas. There we go. Click hotspot, done. Now let's apply that other material, Dream UV. And there we go, we can see how we've just quickly textured it, easy. Now, unfortunately we have to do each individual object, but uh, you know, we can harden up. So let's go hotspot again. However, if it does fail, that's probably because there are triangles. So this does need, it does need to have quads for it to work. So the underbody thing of a bob's not gonna work. Let's see if we can fix that real quick with a decimate unsubdivide. So it's gonna do its best back into material mode. Let's gonna put yellow underneath as well and just see what happens. Uh, there we go, cool beans. I mean, obviously over the top we could throw in a gray and then with all these back pieces as well. So select them, let's go hotspot. So if we have a look at this, um, that's not too bad. Let's click and drag the material onto there. And now this is failing once again because there is uh, triangles here and there and everywhere, which sucks. 
But if you go Alt H, let's go into render view and we'll just see what's the time difference now. So we went 10.34 seconds. So we've taken two seconds off and we've still got some of the old material on here. That's a pretty big improvement, especially when you're doing a thousand frames.